Hey, it's Mark Loftus. Welcome to the Post booth at NAB 2014. I'm joined by Adobe's Steve Ford. Steve, welcome. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Thanks for uh, spending some time with us. Sure. I know you've got expertise in a couple of different areas with Adobe, After yep. Effects being one of them. What can you tell us about where After Effects is at this point? Sure. Yeah, I think you know the primary theme for this year was really integration with the editorial experience. It's kind of funny, when I first started at Adobe three years ago, uh, it was about a number of people came up to me and said, hey, can you make After Effects easier to use? And then a number of people at the same day came up and said, can you also not change a thing? <laughs> you know, and I was kind of like, all right. Yeah. The point is, is that, you know, Premiere Pro in the editorial experience, users want to be able to make quick changes, do stuff, you know, as they're thinking about telling the story, you know, and cutting things for what they're trying to achieve. After Effects is kind of a you know, you can technically play, it's about creativity. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that a lot of people do say, like for lower thirds and that kind of thing, I just need to change names. I don't need to jump into After Effects, mm -hmm. do things like that. So we focused on a feature called Live Text Templates. Okay. So that was bringing the technology of After Effects right inside the Premiere Pro um, and allow, say, the editor to be able to change text on the fly, but still conform to the creative output of, say, a template than an After Effects. Good, high quality motion graphics, but you just change the text in a field in Premiere Pro. Mm -hmm. So it's really simple and fast. Mm -hmm. So that's those are the types of things we really focused on, was how do we bring the technology into, into Premiere Pro when, say, the editor isn't going to want to jump over to After Effects. Okay. They don't have time, or maybe they don't even know. So they do you consider that closer inter integration between Absolutely. After Effects and? Yeah. Okay. And also, Creative Cloud, you touched on a little bit. You're kind of a specialist on that as well. Yeah, so a lot of things across Creative Cloud. Um, and we're hearing more and more about it these days since its introduction. Yeah, in this release, we focused on Cooler um, and TypeKit, so color workflows. Mm -hmm. How can we work with multiple devices and bring those into the applications as a first class citizen? The other thing we did was focus on fonts. Uh, a lot of times, people are really struggling with, I've got a missing font or something that's not on the workstation. Mm -hmm. um, how do you find the original? So t uh, tying in TypeKit, the TypeKit service that's part of Creative Cloud, mm -hmm. so that you can easily get two fonts via the Creative Cloud service. It'll help manage when you're missing a font or something like that, and put those into your system. Great. We've heard from users, has, has been really good. Nice. What are you showing at the booth then? How are you, you have workstations set up or Yeah, there's, there's, there's lots of customers. In fact, uh, this year we're going to be, uh, folks such as Stargate are showing a lot of things from workflows for like The Walking Dead okay. um, and that kind of stuff. We're also going to be talking a lot about uh, David Fincher's upcoming movie, Gone Girl, where mm -hmm. that's going to be exclusively edited in Premiere Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we have workstations across the board showing all the products mm -hmm. and how they're integrating. Yep. Um, and I think that's the general theme, the integration between all of them and then how that ties into Creative Cloud. So yeah. lots of stuff at the booth. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you uh, coming by the Post booth here at NAB, yeah. Steve. Thank and you. And I hope you have a great show. Awesome. Same to you. Thanks.